We're gonna draw a chocolate Labrador. A chocolate lab dog. Because it's made of chocolate. It looks like it's made of chocolate. Um, okay, now, the good thing about this is that we don't need to expect that it's gonna look amazing because it's gonna be drawn with chocolate, okay? Um, so I'm gonna start off with my um, milk chocolate. I'm gonna open it up. Now, if you've got a Santee bar, like I have, um, they're perfect, because they've got like a little handle, and they've got some sharp bits on here. If you don't, if you just have regular chocolate, I've got some of that too. Um, has to be Whitakers though in my house, because we're, we're, we're Whitakers supporters. Um, just break yourself off like a chunk like that, so you've got some sharp, you want some sharp bits that you can draw with, right? So, starting out with my chocolate bar, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the corner and we're just gonna start sketching this little doggo. Are we ready to go? Okay. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the basic shape of the head. We'll start off with our head. And then the ear comes down. When I first did this, I was like, it's pretty cool that you can actually draw with chocolate. <laughs> and also the smell, it like smells really nice. Okay. Cool, cool. Okay, so the, the chin part sort of comes down about a little bit lower than the ears, doesn't it? The nose is gonna be up around here. Now I'm not expecting you to do detail with the chocolate. We might, in fact, we'll work into it a little bit with some pencil later. But you can still sketch the, the basic thing. Okay, now I've kind of worn down one of my corners, so I'm just gonna flip it around um, and work with the other corner. Have a, um, when you look at a dog, the, an animal, you can see how that line that goes up from its mouth to its nose it kind of carries on straight down the head as well. So there's a line and that carries on back to the head and that helps to space out the eyes. So you can kind of go, okay, the eye, one eye's here, one eye's here, um, and that helps for kind of proportion or positioning. All right, now we'll come to the part where my um, chocolate's getting a little bit blunt, so you know the best thing to do? How do you sharpen it? You bite it. You gotta eat a little bit. So that's, that's a real problem, but, you know. Now I've got some nice sharp corners on it. Hopefully no one's allergic to chocolate. Because this would be really annoying if you were, but hey. Okay, so I'm working my way down the body. Sort of, the first sort of curves around, there's still that line, eh, running down the middle. Curves around, and then you've got the sort of um, body. We're not gonna bother doing the legs, we're just sort of more focused on the head. And we'll just have a little bit of the body in the background like that. Okay, I'm just going to fold this. There we go. Okay, so once you've got it kind of roughly, roughly sketched in like this, now is a good chance to grab your, um, if you've got any dark chocolate, Grab your dark chocolate, because believe it or not, this actually does give you a darker tone. So we're gonna crack straight into the 50%. It's not even that dark, is it really? Should have some 70% here. And I just want you to start adding in some tone, some shading. So wherever you can see like the dark tones on the dog, just like you would with a pencil, just start adding in darker tones. So kind of 
around the ears. Um, don't worry about the eyes because we'll come back to them later on. Where else is it going to be quite dark? Oh, there's a bit of shadow just sort of above the eye, just in that piece there. And then underneath the mouth as well. And under the chin. Is it working out, guys? Is it a bit weird? <laughs> okay. Don't don't give up on it yet. Keep believing in yourself. Keep sharpening your chocolate bar. Hmm. Oh, that's good. Do you guys prefer dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Kind of. Hmm. Both really, but. Probably milk chocolate's better. Okay, so we're still working into the dark tones with our with our dark chalk. And then Yeah, just come down the body. I'm not too worried about all the all the tones on the body. Just get a few tones in there to sort of hopefully make it, you know, work a bit. And then you can switch over whenever you're ready to switch over to your um, to the light back to the light chocolate, and you can start to add in some of the lighter tones, like on the top of the ears, that kind of thing. And really, just the leave the lightest areas without any tone. So, like maybe just on the top of the nose. Um, yeah, anywhere that's sort of a mid-tone, just add in some extra chocolate there. <laughs> just remember to let yourself off the hook, because this is quite a tricky, it's quite tricky drawing with chocolate um, anyway, or it's quite hard drawing a dog anyway, but drawing with chocolate is even harder, so... You got a good excuse if it doesn't look very good. What we're going to do now is we're going to grab a pencil. So I'm going to use a 2B pencil. And we're going to start working into our drawing with the pencil because the pencil will actually go over top of the chocolate. Um, so places like the eyes and the nose, we're going to pick up the details. So I'm just going to start out with the nose. If you've got a 2B or you can use a 4B or a 6B or something like that, doesn't really matter. So with the nose we've got the middle, there's like a line in the middle. And then the two nostrils kind of come up like this. Like little quarter shapes that are kind of coming in from this side. You can add a little bit of pencil tone in there as well, if you want to. Um, okay, so, and then we'll follow it down. See how the mouth, it's sort of got those, those like jowls, the sort of sides of the mouth come down like that a little bit. And then the actual mouth, the actual chin and mouth is sort of underneath that. You can add a bit of extra tone in there as well. Okay, that's looking a little bit more doggo. A bit more doggy now. Um, Do 
Yeah, when I did this for the first time, I was quite impressed that the pencil just goes straight over the chocolate. That was cool. I think I might have the... I've got the nose a little bit too far to the left in my drawing. But hey, that's okay. Uh, okay, so now with the eyes, we got it. This is the hard one of the hard parts. We should try and make the eyes look pretty similar. So we're going to start out here, and you'll notice it sort of goes up and then down, like in quite a steep up and down. And the bottom is more flat, like that. So it kind of goes up and down, and then the eye itself is actually looking right up. So this is obviously, obviously the dog is like looking up at, probably at its owner. Alright, and that's, that's all good, but now we're going to try and reflect that on the other side. So if you can imagine there's that center line, which I sort of drew with the chocolate, go about an equal distance from there to there and then the same thing so up and down and flat this is one of the reasons why I don't like drawing people because it's so hard to get the eyes looking the same even that one the, my right eye looks a bit too high Now he looks a bit angry. He's got like angry eyebrows. <laughs> All right, great. Um, okay, cool. So once you've done the eyes and the nose, just um, you can just keep working around a little bit. So I'm just going to define the ears a bit more. Don't be tempted to outline everything. You just want to like, you know, draw a few little lines where it's quite dark. And you can add in a bit of extra shading if you want. Cool. And what you can do, once you've, if you want to add in some shading, once you put some pencil down, you can actually work back into it again with the chocolate. So just draw back over the top, and what happens is it sort of smudges the pencil, and it um, blends it in a bit more with the chocolate that's already there. So that's an option if you want to keep doing that. 